This is the platform. We'll come right back. By the time he went through the fourth grade, he was testing at a fifth grade level. And by the time he went to the fifth grade, he was testing at a ninth grade level. And in sixth grade, he was testing at a twelfth grade level. And persons were convinced that we were cheating for him, being the principal's son. And it so happened that on vacation, he visited a classical school, and they gave him a scholarship, partial scholarship, and someone else gave him a scholarship, and he was invited to attend a classical school in Minnesota. And even though he was only 13, he, he, he did well. They accepted him. They thought he was 14, but he was only 13. And um, he became a, an exchange student. And that worked well for us, so then they can know we weren't cheating. So how old are you now, Mario? Um, I'm 15 years old You're now. 15 and yes, you're sir. in grade 10. Yes, sir. Uh, now, I'm told that you passed some BJCs in grade 6. Yes, <laughs> yes sir. I took five BJCs in 6th grade. And you, and, you, and you got them all? I passed them all, yes, sir. So you were just coming out of primary school when you would have completed your BJCs? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. And, and other students, oh, it was a group yeah, of students. It was my entire class took them. So you, 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 you cherry pick students. You, 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 you are, are quite discriminatory um, at New Providence Classical School, aren't you? We, we're not as, dis well, we have been told, we, we're getting to know some of the old scholars from Government High, and we've been told that we should be more discriminative. They said, because not everybody, I think Government High accepted 20 students per year, and they were very selective, and they said we should be more selective, but we take we don't accept every student, but if a student is broken and if a student is not a high achiever, we still accept them. We s accept them where they are. We test diagnostically at the beginning of the school year. We find out where their achievement gaps are. We tell the parents how those gaps can be filled, and we work with the student to bring them up. So yes, we have, we have accepted students who were below average and working to bring them above average. And, and so you, 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 at the end of the day, you would want your students to be, to be like our rhetoric, like, like, like Ma yes. Mario or Kelly. Yes. And you would, you would want them to, to pass these BJCs oh, yes. uh, in grade six or seven. Yes. That's, yeah. that's mm -hmm. the reason I went off to school so early, because I, I had already had my BJCs and one BGCSE. You had one BGCSE? And I, I, yes, I took one BGCSE in eighth grade. In eighth grade? Yes, sir. Uh, and in, in what subject? English. And you passed it? Yes, sir. Not only did he pass it, I have to tell you the invigilator from the center where our students test said they are so confident. Because you imagine a sixth, you know, a sixth grade looks greater, typically looks like, and then you have ninth graders, and some ninth graders are pretty tall, but they weren't intimidated by the ninth graders. <laughs> and when he took the BGCSE, she said, other students in the exam room are slouching, they're looking around, even with the sixth graders. And our students are writing, and they're taking advantage of all the time, and they're so firm and so confident, and they're asking for more paper. 